channel so for today's video I am going to be doing like a Q&A kind of video giving you guys like some advice um, for what it's like kind of my first year of uni and more specifically what it's like starting a fashion textiles course so if you're interested on hearing kind of my opinion on what it's been like this year starting uni which has been I'm not gonna lie probably trickier than what it would have been usually or if you're just generally interested in maybe applying to like a fashion or textile course and want to hear my opinions then just keep watching. I thought it was probably quickly worth mentioning for those who maybe haven't watched my previous videos and heard me speak about it that I am actually 21 so I went to uni um like kind of later than usual because obviously the typical thing to do is do your A-levels and then kind of go straight to uni at 18 slash 19 however what I did after my A-levels was a foundation course um, in art and design which kind of tailored at the end into fashion and I did that at Bournemouth Arts University which was a long time ago now or it feels like a long time even though it was like I think two or three years ago I did that. I did that straight from my A-levels because I didn't know if I wanted to go straight to uni and a foundation course is kind of a really good way of figuring out what you want to do in the arts and it was kind of free so I was like I may as well give that a go and it might help me decide but after that I basically really decided I needed a break from education just because of some things that were going on um, like with my mental health and things like that I just really needed a time to breathe and, and a break and I just knew that I was not ready to go and move away and go to uni properly so I deferred my place for initially one year, so I did go through all the process of having interviews, applying, writing a personal statement, but I just, yeah, deferred my place and it was good to do it that way round actually. If you're kind of at the moment doing a foundation course or you're even at your A-levels, I would definitely say still go through the process of applying to unis, even though you, you may know in your head you do, don't want to go, but being in kind of a uni or an institution or a college that will help you build your portfolio, help you write your personal statement is really really good so then you have that and you've done all the interviews and then at the end of the day like I did you can just defer your place but at the same time you've had help with your portfolio which is obviously something that's quite hard to do by yourself so I would definitely recommend doing that even though if you know you don't want to go to uni but just kind of it's good to have that option to defer if you want to. Like I said, initially I deferred my place for one year. I did some travelling. I volunteered in Kenya for three months, which was insane. So that was 2019. And then I also kind of went to Thailand. I worked in between. And then at the end of the year, I decided again, was not ready to go, didn't feel like it. So luckily they let me defer my place a second time, which was great because I didn't want to go through the whole process of having interviews again. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you do any art course, you have to have interviews and you have to show a portfolio. Whereas maybe with kind of, I don't know, English or science or maths, you just, you don't have that basically. You just write your personal statement. So for the art subjects, it's a little bit, I guess harder work to have to have those things prepared so yeah I deferred my place again and then this year in September the year of a pandemic I decided that I wanted to go well it wasn't that I kind of thought yay pandemic let's go to uni it was the fact that I deferred it for two years I was actually ready I really really wanted to go to uni I felt ready I was getting excited and I didn't want to continue working in retail anymore, like I was so done with it. And to be fair, at the end of summer, things were starting to opening up again, it was looking a lot more positive, so I was like, it'll be fine, let's just go to uni like planned. And I'm not gonna lie, it has been a lot harder because of Covid. Going to uni first year is hard enough already trying to make friends, moving away from the city, getting used to being away from your parents, like living on your own, shopping on your own, doing your own washing, cooking. And then you put a pandemic on top where you can't have friends to visit. You can't, we could only go to uni once a week and then it went to nothing after Christmas. Um, so not being able to make a good friendship group was flipping hard and I felt very, very isolated. I'm not going to lie, but hopefully, I'm going to be answering some questions specifically 
about like the fashion textiles course um so if anyone is thinking of, of applying then you know you get some of answers or you can prepare for some of the things that you're going to need but that is just kind of a bit of background I know I've been rambling for ages of kind of my situation and my probably my first year experience has been a lot worse because of the pandemic so maybe some of my answers aren't going to be I don't know as clear purely because I've not experienced the course to its full level yet which is obviously super super annoying and I'm not gonna lie at the end of Christmas or even before Christmas I thought I was gonna quit I really really did I did not think I'd be going back because I was going in one day a week for Christmas and then sitting in my room for the rest of the week and it was horrible and for someone who suffers with SAD anyway it was not good it was not fun so yeah I didn't think I was going to go back but then after Christmas when the lockdown happened I obviously stayed at home didn't move back to uni and I was able to still do my course from home which kind of helped things because I was still having the comforts of home um could still talk to my parents didn't feel as lonely but then I could carry on with the course even though it sucked that it wasn't couldn't do it properly but you know we're here I'm now in my second semester it's Easter break and things are starting to look a lot lighter so my course specifically is called fashion textiles I didn't when looking at unis I didn't want to go specifically for fashion or textiles that's why I went for this course um, and I'm also doing it at Bristol Uni um, because I wasn't sure what area I wanted to sit in and I liked about this course you kind of do all the different elements like we do pattern cutting like the fashion design um, you can do like print and knit which is really kind of like textiles design which is really good and I just liked that kind of option to be able to pick which a lot of other kind of unis didn't offer you'd either have to choose from the get-go or you would kind of have a very short amount of time to either kind of go into menswear women's wear or like knit or print but this course gives me the opportunity to kind of you know like figure it out in my own time and also try different bits which is really really good first one is what is your advice for living in halls don't do it <laughs> i think it's just because i've not had the best experience in halls probably because of the whole covid thing the fact i couldn't have guests felt very isolating and the fact that i've probably been unlucky with who i was put with um <laughs> yeah and maybe it is purely the fact that i am just older i'm more mature i generally want more of a comfortable living space rather than a messy situation which i have had my main advice would be if you're gonna go if you're gonna go do hauls if you're determined to fair enough i think it can be great and especially if you're younger moving out for the first time and also if there's not a pandemic <laughs> i think it would be better um, but don't take things that you really, really care about because it will either get broken, lost or, I don't know, get dirty in some way. So don't take things that you really care about. Um, just don't do it. Basically, like, wait till you've either got a house a second year or just keep them at home, you know? Like, it will just create way more problems than it's worth. And then probably, I don't know what other advice to give just because... It has not been for me at all and I think the pandemic doesn't help and I think a lot of my problems would have been solved had there not been a pandemic but I think obviously go in open-minded um, go in kind of to the idea that you may not be living with people that you like um, however I think obviously if you can have guests over when there's not a pandemic um, it will be a lot better for you and I think I would have liked, to, uh, liked it a lot more had that been said but yeah, and I think be prepared to have awkward conversations about cleaning and washing up and stuff like that. And be prepared to have to kind of deal with them situations. Um, they're annoying and it's not the best. And oh, my biggest advice, if you can, try and get a room with an ensuite because I am so lucky I have got a room with an ensuite. And let me tell you, if the mess that have been created in my kitchen and the dirt and the filth if that had been in a bathroom you just don't want that just yeah I, I'd say that's my main advice okay so three pieces of advice that I would give to someone who is doing my course um I would definitely say 
come in very open to trying new and different things. I feel like where I had my break of education for quite a long time, I found it very, very hard to then be open to experimenting, doing really random stuff that the teachers are asking you to do. Um, just be open to different options and trying things out because at the end of the day in your first year you can do that which is really really good so yeah just be open I'd say the second thing as well be prepared to have some harsh criticism now I know that kind of the fashion industry in particular is brutal and it's known for being brutal but I think I wasn't prepared for kind of the criticism not criticism but like constructive criticism criticism where at my A-levels in particular, I really, really love my teachers. They loved me, a bit of a teacher's pet, not gonna lie. Um, I was not prepared to, I guess, not have that and have kind of quite harsh feedback at first. Um, and I take things to heart quite a lot. So I would just say, don't take things to heart. They're trying to help you. And then after time, you'll realise that it is for your best interest and they really do care and they're only saying it because they want you to improve and do better. But I think just be prepared for that. And I personally wasn't. So when I first had kind of reviews, it really did knock me down. But don't let that happen. They are just trying to help. And the third one, I'm trying to think what it would be. Um, I would say just if there's not a pandemic, use and like take advantage of the equipment that you have there obviously i've not been able to do that because of the situation but normally i think that the equipment's there it's there for you to use so make the most of it um and it's worth it while you're at uni because at the end of the day you're paying for it so kind of take not take the mickey with it but definitely get the use worth and also make sure you're messaging your tutors, like the technicians, to get as much help as possible because that's what they're there for. And I always used to worry, like, messaging, like, and emailing, thinking I was being really annoying. But no, at the end of the day, they get paid for it and that's what they're there for, so just use them for it. Okay, so another question that I got was, how did you find starting uni later than your friends? And to be honest, I found it okay. And I was very, very worried at first when I decided to defer my place. I was panicking so much that I was going to be really old at uni. I wouldn't find any friends because of it. Um, and yeah, that it would matter, but it really doesn't. Um, I found some like friends at uni that are kind of my age or even older. It really doesn't matter. And also, like one of my other friends I know went to uni, but my other friends didn't. They all kind of went to work. And some of my friends are actually from like my retail job. So I would say it, age is just a number and it's what you make it. So don't get in your head about it like I did at first because it's not gonna matter. And those friends are still gonna be there for you. Like my friend who did go to uni, we still like met up, like my friends who are at work, we still met up, um, we still like kept in contact. And then in terms of actually me being older at uni, the only time I realise it is in the living situation in halls um, where I'm a lot more mature, I kind of enjoy cooking, stuff like that where everyone else is just happy to piss about and, you know, have takeaways or ready meals. So that is the only main difference in terms of age is the living, like, living environment and the maturity there. But in terms of the course, I think no matter what age you start, you're always going to find people that are kind of similar to you. So yeah, I would just say just don't worry about that. And you know, your friends, if they're starting uni and you don't feel ready yet, don't do it just because they are, because I know for a fact if I went when I was 18, 19, I would have, I just couldn't have coped with it. So please just do obviously what is right for you. And they're still gonna be your friends at the end of the day. You're not gonna lose contact or anything like that. So yeah, just do what's best for you. The question I got is favorite assignment I've done so it's weird i've kind of had one assignment before christmas which was like a whole we were given a country to do and um, to like focus on and then kind of get prints from it and then design a kind of like garment and do all the research that was quite fun but i found it very 
very stressful only having that one day in uni and it was a lot and then after Christmas we've had quite a lot of modules I don't know why they've done it like that where we only had one and now we've got like almost four at the same time I don't even know um so obviously at the moment I'm doing like an essay part of the course which I think whatever art or fashion textiles course you do you always have to have that essay academic part to it which I know it's a bit a bit annoying so I'm doing that and then I've also got another big module that's kind of the main part which has got pattern cutting in which is really I found I think very very interesting I really like that technical part of how clothes are actually put together and I really like the idea that maybe in summer because I've got that bit of background now that maybe I'm going to be able to start making some of my own clothes and like designing or even taking clothes apart that say I found from a charity shop and remaking them I really have liked that part of the course and that's one of the reasons I picked it because other courses whether you do a textiles course or maybe even a like fashion course they don't always teach you the proper construction of a garment and I've really really liked that part of it just quickly to finish up just because I have been babbling on for so long um just answer what a levels I did specifically so I did media studies um I did a business as which I think now they don't do as subjects it used to be that you picked I think four and then you dropped one like after to do a level so I dropped business and I only got an as in that um I hated it anyway so yeah um and then I did textiles and photography and then obviously I did my art foundation you don't have to do an art foundation you can just go from a level to um straight to uni but a foundation is always good to kind of figure out further what you want to do in arts um yeah that's what I did really I loved my textiles course at um college and photography to be honest and I'm not gonna lie if I was allowed to pick three art subjects I probably would have but I did really enjoy media studies as well and personally for me they worked really well because I'm better at doing coursework because I'm rubbish at exams so I love being able to prep before and have all the coursework I know it's a lot of work at the time but I always think it's a lot like better and easier to do it that way but that's just obviously personal um but yeah that is what I did so guys that is it for today's video i am probably quite aware this is going to be quite a long babbly one but i really hope i have answered some of your questions maybe your queries about doing the course or going to uni a bit later and i would actually really like to maybe do a series of like uni videos if you guys have any other questions about it or like different experiences and how I've dealt with them then obviously I would really like to do that but just let me know in the comments down below but I'm going to leave it here and I hope you enjoyed watching bye